Hello, it's the morning of Wednesday, February 26th. Oh, that means it's two months until my birthday. Interesting. Anyways, so <clears throat> I'm here to give an update because I am going to a book signing tonight and I wanted to start a vlog. I haven't posted a vlog in like a pretty long time because I haven't really been reading the way that I was and I think I want to do more of a chat on that like later and how I've changed my reading goals and like my perspective and stuff <laughs> because I kind of like went through a little slump and I just kind of reflected on the way that I was viewing reading and my channel and all that so I'll talk about that later but I am kind of running a little bit late to work right now so I do want to do just a quick update but I am going to the signing for Trisha Levenseller's The Shadows Between Us and if you don't know Trisha Levenseller is one of my favorite authors so I have all of her books so we have Daughter of the Pirate King, Daughter of the Siren Queen, and Warriors of the Wild which I all read in audio but honestly I kind of want to do a reread of them after reading The Shadows Between Us. I read this like last week I think. I had requested the arc forever ago. I loved it so much. I cannot tell you how much I love this book. I wish I was vlogging during reading it because like oh my god just like power hungry amazing characters the enemies. Well like okay the summary is woo the shadow king marry him and kill him and take his kingdom for himself. The tension between the two characters was amazing and they couldn't even touch for 90% of the novel and like Trisha Levenseller really excels at writing the really good romantic tension between two characters and I loved it. It was really sex positive, it was really empowering and like I just absolutely fell for the novel and like her, all of her female main characters are so unique but you just really feel for them like she's so good at characterization and just creating these really unique worlds and these really unique characters like i can go on and on and on forever about how much i love her but i will leave it at that and the fact that i'm going to the signing today i'm so excited to meet her and tell her my love for her um, i've definitely gotten better at speaking to authors i used to be like very i just get nervous i still get nervous now but hopefully i'll be able to like fully express my love and um yeah, so I'm actually, this is my ARC and I'm going to get it signed and give it to Keely and then I'm getting a signed copy for Maddie and one for myself as well. I mean, hopefully they'll let me get all my books by her signed. I don't see why not because it's like a smaller signing. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited and yeah, another thing that I've decided is like even if I have ARCs of like books that I love, if I'm going to buy a hardcover, I don't mind passing on the ARC to someone because I'd rather someone else get to enjoy the story that I like. Just another thing that I will talk about later in my change in perspective of basically like not trying to hold on to more than I need in terms of book. That's that's a topic for later either i'll talk about it tomorrow later tonight if i vlog or i might be too tired maybe tomorrow another day i don't know how long this vlog is gonna be so we'll see but yeah that's um my update for now and i am hopefully going to film some at the signing and put that in here For, for people who would like a different reading experience. Uh, not that most novels aren't vastly different, but just you get kind of used to the to the good, you know, protagonist. You get used to protagonists having a certain moral code and everything. And this is a book for people who don't want that, who maybe want something a little bit different, um, who have readers where, or who have um, protagonists where the lines that they will cross are not here, they're somewhere up here, right? Um, like, yes, I will murder to get what I want. Yes, I will bury that body so nobody finds it. You know, things like that. Um, so I think people who, who kind of want that kind of read instead of your typical good guy with the good moral compass, not that we don't love those. We love rooting for those characters. 
Um, but it, just if you want something different to mix it up a bit, I think um, I think this would be a good read for you. Okay, talking about other people's books. Um, I know you haven't gotten a chance to read a lot lately. You've been traveling for living, very exhausting. <laughs> but when you get to not do that anymore for a little bit, uh, what are you looking forward to reading this year? Oh my gosh. Um, so there's a bunch of sequels coming out that I'm super excited for. Um, let's see. Uh, a Curse So Dark and Lovely came out last year. The sequel's already out, but I haven't gotten a chance to read it, so I'm super excited for that one. Publisher? Uh, thank you! Uh, it's so hard to sell new books to your publisher. People think that, that once you're published, it's like smooth sailing from there. It's, it's not. In some ways, I would argue it gets harder. Um, but I sold um, a series called The Secret Blade, and it is about a magically gifted blacksmith with social anxiety who accidentally builds this all-powerful sword um, and this warlord is after it, so she has to take it and go on the run and protect it at all costs. So she kind of has to like leave everything comfortable that she's known her whole life and just like go on an adventure and be scared of everything. Um, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've suffered from social anxiety most of my life, and so this was like very near and dear to me, and um, I had so much fun with it. Yeah, it's already written. Like, this is how far in advance things happen, right? Uh, we're doing edits on it right now. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. So we'll have that coming out February of next year, and then the sequel year after that. Mm -hmm. What about, uh, can you talk to people about what? Hello, so it's now the end of a very long day, but I did go to the Trisha Love and Seller signing. I had a lot of fun. It was a pretty small signing, so I got to talk more and like uh, talk to the author more, so it was really great. She gave out these Warrior of the Wild sticker maps and Daughter of the Pirate King bookmarks, which I love. So I got Daughter of the Pirate King signed, and it says, Katie, girls make the best pirates, and it's signed. And then Daughter of the Siren Queen says, who will reach the treasure first? Super cute. Warrior of the Wild says, Welcome to the Wild. And Shadows Between Us, which, oh, this is such a gorgeous book. Oh my god, look at that. That is so pretty. This one says, You deserve a crown. Maddie is uh, gonna send me some monies, and I got her a copy that is signed as well, and it says, also, you deserve a crown. And then I'm passing on my arc to Keely because I want her to read this because it's so good. And this says, Keely, take what you deserve. So, yes, it was really fun. It was a really great setting to get to talk to the author. And, like, I don't know, I just have a lot of respect for her. And it was just a, a really cool event. So, that being said, so I did take a break from reading vlogs for like a long time. I think just around like the November, December, like holiday time. I just really like kind of just like hit this point where I was like, I'm reading so much and like I was forcing myself to read so much and I just wanted to take time to focus on other hobbies and like I just didn't want to be forcing myself to read if I wasn't in the mood to. Like I just think that kind of defeats the purpose. Like it, it takes away some of the fun and the joy. So I just kind of took some time to be reading less and taking this pressure off of myself to read a certain amount, I think that with having this channel, I kind of like think like, oh, I need to have content, I need to read this, I need to read that, and like, it doesn't have to be the case like at all, like this is all self-imposed pressure, so I'm kind of like glad I took a step back and um, because I wasn't reading, like there was nothing really to vlog, I also just wanted to take time off from vlogging because vlogging is a lot of fun but like it can sometimes be this pressure where you feel like you have to vlog and I don't want it to be like that either so I'm just gonna kind of you know try and play it more by ear and like vlog when I feel like it and create vlogs that way but not because I feel obligated to so it's just kind of learning how to balance your different emotions and stuff like that so yeah I've definitely been reading less I also like stop listening to audiobooks like, I like audiobooks, okay, they're not my favorite way, like, I do prefer physical reading, um, and I just, like, haven't felt the need to pick one up, and I felt like I was really liking them for a while, but, like, was I reading them because I really liked them, or because I felt like it just helped me read more, and, like, I don't need to rush through books or feel like I need to, like, read X amount or whatever, like, I should just enjoy what I'm reading. So, that's kind of my take on it, so... In the meantime, so I did just finish Havenfall by Sarah Holland yesterday. This was a five-star read for me. It's a contemporary fantasy that takes place at this inn that is like basically like has all these doorways with different worlds that you can go through and it's 
the niece of the innkeeper. She wants to take over the inn and like take over the balance between all the worlds. And I just thought it was very smart, very good world building, very a lot of political intrigue and i really really thought it was fantastic so yes thank you to the publisher for sending me an arc of this because i'm so happy that i got to read it it really was fantastic i also had an arc of shadows between us which is like the perfect slytherin romance like i just adore everything that trisha levenseller writes she's one of my auto buy authors like i'm so happy i have her whole collection signed at this point so yeah i'm really happy about that i read that as an arc and my whole review is up on goodreads um and then tonight i just read yona of the dawn volume two i do really want to get more into manga and so when maddie talked about this series in one of her videos on her channel um, it's just really fun it's about like this princess that has to escape after her father the king is murdered with her bodyguard and like the romantic tension between the two but also it's like it's shoujo so it's like romance but it's also like in this with this princess setting so there is some more action and like in this one we definitely see yona come out of her shell more and like be more badass so there are a lot of volumes in this series so i'm looking forward to like slowly collecting them over time when i went shopping at book off with maddie a few weeks ago when we were together in the city to see the 17 concert she told me to get missions of love and they were like three dollars each so i was like okay and this is it is time for love secret cell phone novelist versus the most popular boy in school a mission of love for absolute servitude and i have the first three novels of this and she said it was really good so um i can hopefully dig into this one soon as well so next up for me is bone crier's moon which just look at this cover i believe it's illustrated by Char charlie bowater so you know it's gorgeous um this one is a high stakes fantasy duology and it is about a girl who must sacrifice the boy she loves to protect the living from the dead Bone criers have a sacred duty to ferry the spirits of the dead into the afterlife, lest they drain the light from the living. Um, and it says, it's a high stakes impossible romance audiences will swoon over, evocative world building inspired by a universal folktale. Um, and yeah, Maddie just finished this because of course she is ahead of me, but like I have been looking forward to this ever since I got an arc. When I opened this, I was like, oh my god, they sent me this arc. I'm so excited. So I think that this is going to be next up on the agenda. And then after that, which also, duh, I forgot to talk about. This is what happens when you don't vlog, you forget to talk about things. I also read The Stars We Steal by Alexa Dawn. This is an arc I got at ALA, which my ALA vlog and haul is up if you want to hear more about like my experience at that conference. But I got a lot of books. And so like I'm pretty much set for the next few months. Um, I'm trying not to buy books unless they're like my most, most anticipated releases. And that's kind of like another change in philosophy that I've had that I shouldn't just be buying books willy-nilly. Like I should be buying a book because I really want it on my shelf and i'm going to read it more than once so i'm trying to be more selective with what i buy and like other books trying to get arcs from publishers or e-arcs or like borrowing from the library things like that i read the stars we steal this was also five stars this was really fun did i write a review of this I, i'm like brain dead i can't remember <laughs> i'll have to look it up but this is basically like the bachelorette in space so they the human population has moved to space and they basically hold this like ceremony every five years to like meet people that you are eligible to marry because the human population is dwindling and so we have princess leone who is heir to like a crumbling spaceship and so she must marry rich to save her family and then her childhood love comes back and they um had a thing that was broken off because he wasn't rich and couldn't save her family and i actually found out that this is a retelling of a jane austen novel i think persuasion which i had no idea about but it was pretty cool to find that out after the fact and i thought it was just really lighthearted and fun and a cool like unique spin on a classic tale so yeah after bone Cryer's moon maybe i'll read vanishing deep or kingdom of back which is the new marie lu one about some sort of fantasy about mozart's sister which just sounds very like kind of out there so i'm really interested in this one but i also need to catch up because here's the thing crescent city and chain of gold are coming out on tuesday i am not caught up with shadow hunters at all so i need to catch up on reading red scrolls of magic and goes to shadow market so that might become the priority for a bit but this one a lot of these arcs that i got at ala like i don't need to review them for the publishers but if i got an arc like if i requested an arc for review obviously i wouldn't have a review up before <laughs> the book is out so this one i did request uh, for review so i am going to try and get a review up for it so i do need to read this before it comes out on 
March 10th. And then this one I was sent by Penguin for an Instagram promo. So I'm not under any obligation to review it, but I am really, really intrigued by it. And I mean, just like look at this cover. It's really cool. So I don't know. That's probably like a little glimpse into my March TBR because this is, I'm sure, going to carry over into March. So I've been talking for 10 minutes now. I guess I've missed vlogging. I'm gonna go and I'll see you in the next clip. Hello, it's now Thursday, February 27th, and I wanted to come on here because I got a package from Steph from Shut Up and Read, and this actually came a lot quicker than I thought it would, so let's open it, see how I can do this in like the least dangerous way possible. Um, it's like pretty stuff. Did that, okay, here we go. So Steph sent me two arcs that she was passing along, and that is Fountains of Silence by Ru Ruta Sapitas and The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd Jones, which is, it's kind of nice when your friends like get a lot of arcs that you can kind of just like pass copies around, and I've been passing some on to friends, and I've also started to do it, some giveaways of books that... I don't want to keep on my Twitter, so keep an eye out for that. Follow me on Twitter if you are interested in that. I don't know how often I'll do that. <laughs> I've meaning to send out these arcs for like two weeks now that I'm giving to people, and I just um, haven't. Yeah, but this one is supposed to be like really good. It's a standalone fantasy, and I've heard really great things, so I'm really excited to have an arc so I can read it. And this one is a historical fiction, so yeah. Um, this is just also like getting arcs as part of what I want to do to try and like save some money on books and like I have the means to get them like you can trade them with people stuff like that so I'm just trying to really be thrifty and not have books that like I said I'm trying to curate a collection that are full of books that I would reread and some books you just won't read again that doesn't mean you don't like them but like they're not books that you will find yourself going back to so like I don't know it's just trying to balance like reading a lot a lot and not having space for the 100 plus books that I read a year like I don't like in three years what am I gonna have like 300 more books like that is just not feasible so it's as you start to read more just trying to like manage it and also like not spending so much money on books like I'd rather spend money on like special editions and stuff of like books that I absolutely am going to adore. Again, just trying to navigate life as a reader that reads a lot but does not have a lot of space because that's what life is living in a city. If you have any tips, let me know. Okay, see ya. Hello, so it's Friday, February 28th. It's nighttime and I'm up page 96 of bone crier's moon it's really good so far the plot is really gripping it's written really well and the magic is really complex basically it's like there's these people and they're bone criers they're all women and they ferry the souls of the dead but in order to like get this ability they have to kill the man that they're destined to love and then this guy like his dad was murdered by a bone crier so he's trying to get revenge but then it turns out he's her soulmate so you know they're now bound together and what's really cool about this magic system is bone criers get magic based on graces which are you like kill three animals you hunt them and then you get their skills and abilities so like the main character Elise has like really cool graces and then our other main character Sabine like doesn't want to kill animals so it's kind of cool having those two play off of one another and we get three first person perspectives Bastion, Sabine, and Elise and it actually is really good so far because like when you have different perspectives they have to be in the same tense. I read a book where it was two perspectives but one was present and or same perspective sorry one was present one was first person, one was third person, and it drive, drove me like absolutely insane. I think that was Queen's Assassin. So yeah, I mean, off to a strong start. And then I think I'm pretty much done reading for the night. I feel like I read 100 pages. Like that's pretty good for a day. And now I'm gonna like watch some YouTube videos, maybe do some journaling type stuff and have a chill night. So see you in the next one. Hello, it's... Saturday night and I'm reading more of Bone Crier's Moon and it is just like amazing. Um if you want like a true true enemies to lovers, like they're I'm 40% way through the book and they're still enemies. So they really really hate each other, so it's really interesting. Um they're trying to kill each other, but you know, something out of the magic present 
prevents them from doing so so it's just really unique and then i like that the book is three perspectives so it's not just between these two on the cover that are like the bone crier and her soul bounded guy but also sabine who is elise's best friend and is trying to rescue her and i think that their perspective adds a lot of depth to the book and also the fact that like she's supposed to kill these animals for their graces but she doesn't want to harm another being um adds a lot of conflict and the lore of this is really cool it's interesting because this book is based off the myth of la, la dame blanche which is also the same like french myth that serpent and dove is based off of but they're very different books even if they're both kind of like enemies to lovers so it's really interesting to see how like a common myth can inspire two totally completely different stories so yeah really really enjoying this one so far and i can't wait to continue reading um i read about 100 pages today which i think is pretty good like I've been doing different things like reading, going grocery shopping, doing this and that, and I really want a bullet journal tonight. I don't know if I'll film it or not, but I haven't touched my bullet journal since like the beginning of the year, and it's now almost March. Like It's like two months without bullet journaling just because I was so busy, and I finally, finally like have some spreads that I want to do, and I just want to like sit down and do them. So that's going to be what I do for the rest of the night after I make some dinner. Hello. Sunday. And I am still reading Bone Crier's Moon. This morning I read up to page 241. So this book is flying by. I think I'm like 50% of the way through. It's good. It's real good. And so I think I might turn this. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how long this footage is. But this could, could potentially turn into also a Shadowhunters reading vlog. While I read Red Skulls of Magic, Ghost of the Shadow Market, and Chain of Gold. But also, like, I might make this separate and then make my next one. I don't know. Um, but, yes. I'm really enjoying this book. Also, look at my bookmark. It's 80s, if you don't know. They're one of my faves. Anyways, yeah, it's just really action-packed, really good. The, there's this whole action sequence in the middle that was, like, really heart-pounding. And I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Um, I just filmed two videos, and it's been a while since I've, like... I don't know i've like been in this weird place with my channel but just like today i felt like so motivated to film and now i film two videos and i'm like okay like i'm exhausted like i was gonna maybe try and film a third video but i knew i wouldn't have fun if i did it like that so i'm gonna you know save up my energy and film again when i feel like it and hopefully i'm gonna try and like edit tonight so like sundays if I'm like doing more booktube stuff, like I kind of have less time to read and more so focus on like the filming and the editing and stuff just to get it out of the way because it's hard. <laughs> so much harder for me on weekdays. So that's what I'm gonna do. And in the meantime, just like, you know, live life. And I am gonna go to the grocery store because like I have to do that. I mean, that's annoying and come back probably eat some dinner watch some videos and read but also i really really want a bullet journal like i started bullet journaling last night let me get my journal so like i have been doing more um spread like finally like i really just like stopped bullet journaling for a while and then like last night i just got back into it so i'm so excited I, this is kind of like a combined k-pop reading journal because it just is but yeah i'm really loving it so far so like i redid a spread that i had in my old journal because i wanted to have it in my 2021 and that is my bts album tracker so tracking the albums that i own um i just really think these spreads are fun and i'm gonna do it for um, other groups that i like my like three main groups and have that be that i also have some stuff i can go back and fill out in here Maybe I'll do like some footage of that, but like, yeah, I'm not super pressed to have that. And yeah, I'm just like, this is just like a hobby that I got away from because I was just so busy and now I have time to do it. And like having other hobbies means that like I can't read books super fast and like that's okay. And I think I need to tell myself and other people that like it's okay to not be reading books super fast. Read them at the pace that you like. And like this is just something I'm constantly reminding myself that like it doesn't matter if i read two books a month or like 20 just like spend my time that's free time doing what i like and like what's gonna make me happiest and sometimes that's scaling back on reading still enjoying reading and doing other things and like that's fine just live life 
So that, those are my words of wisdom for today. See ya. Hello, it is I, and it is March 3rd. Oh my god, I've been saying it's March 2nd all day. It's March 3rd, um, a Tuesday, and it's a big release day for books. And so I have a package here. So let us open it. This is, as I've been talking about, I've been trying to, like, you know, be more conscious of my book buying, and so I'm only buying the books that I know want to love and want to keep and reread and so that is what is in today's package Ooh, they're both huge so first we have chain of gold i'm so excited about this one. Oh my god she's gorgeous oh these books are always so pretty there's a print inside so here we have a print of the characters Amazing. Oh my god, it's so big. Let's see if there's anything else. And I do think there's like a letter or something in the back. And then this is Fairy Tale of London. And it's about their wedding. So I'm definitely going to read that. Oh my god, I just ugh. I remember when this cover was revealed, I literally gasped because it's so beautiful. Like this color scheme is probably my favorite of all the books so far. I love the teal and the way it contrasts with the red. It's so pretty. Okay. And for another gorgeous thick book we have house of earth and blood by sarah j mass i've been waiting so long for this oh my god it is so pretty so we have this is what it looks like underneath the dust jacket and this is the print inside oh i love this and it has the thin pages because you know she is long oh she dedicated it to her son that's so cute Oh, and then in the back, I don't know why, but if anyone, it's the same thing. I don't know if anyone has ever read Monstrous, the comic, but this picture gives me Monstrous vibes. And I think they are, like, kind of similar in that aspect of, like, it's, like, fantasy, but with technology, like, steampunk, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Right now, I'm still reading Bone Crier's Moon. I didn't get a chance to read much yesterday. I read for maybe 20 minutes. So I'm on page 273. The romance is starting to heat up and I actually love the way that it's done. It is done so well. Like, really good enemies to lovers. Like, the situations and stuff, it makes sense and the characters are written really, really well. And just like, I don't know. Like, I just think it's a really cool world, a really cool situation. I'm really enjoying it. With that being said, now that I've opened my books that I'm excited about and all that, um, I'm going to go and read them. <laughs> Hello, it's Saturday, March 7th, and last night I finished Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. Uh, it took me a little bit longer to finish this than I thought it would because I had two days where I just didn't read because I was so exhausted, which it's fine. That's life, but I did read like the last quarter of this last night, and oh my god, the ending was absolute insanity. Like, uh, it was so good. I was blown away. It is a definite five stars for me. I'm probably going to be picking up a finished copy because I just loved it so much. I need the next book like now and I'll be passing this along to a friend that wants to read it because I need all of my friends to read this book because I just think it's phenomenal. And with that being said, I am going to close out this vlog. I am just kind of getting back in the swing of vlogging. And first of all, I always think that I have less footage than I do. So I'm sure I have enough footage to like fill up the time. But I also like stopped vlogging because I put this pressure on myself that I like absolutely needed to have more than like what just talking about books. But kind of the whole thing of these vlogs is to just talk about books and if you have extra stuff that you're doing you can throw in there like that's good but like i don't need to you know so i am just going to end it here and have it be a day so have some fun read some books and i catch you guys in the next one